Unbelievably, the most watched, most wondered about man in America has gone missing tonight. The intersection of the 5 and the 91 freeway. One thing we have been noticing, again, it's a very slow pursuit, uh, followed by numerous uh, highway patrol vehicles. But because of the intensity, it seems like people have heard about what's going on. And all the overpasses that we've seen have been lined with cars. Guilty shadows haunt the night. Dark secrets locked away so tight. OJ on the run. Oh, what a sight. High speed chase, sirens blaring in the moonlight. Fame and glory now turn to shame. The taste of freedom lost in this twisted game. OJ. The man with the bloodstained face is in the guilty. Who's to blame? Running from the truth, chasing dreams in the night. LA affiliates. Police believe that that OJ Simpson is in that car. Okay. Police believe he is in that vehicle. 911, what are you reporting? This is this is AC. I have OJ in the car. Fame and glory now turn to shame. The taste of freedom lost in this twisted game. OJ, the man with the bloodstained fame. Innocent or guilty, who's to blame? Running from the truth, chasing dreams in the night. Oh, OJ, you drive from that faithful life. Guilty shadows follow you, day and night. In the darkness, justice finds its light. Did OJ do it? Dude, how sweet was that video that you just made? Did OJ do it? Oh my god. I'm so sorry about the live stream, guys. We had issues. Uh, well, needless to say, there's Rumble always issues. Rumble and StreamYard do not play nice together. And Rumble, we are no longer going to even attempt to live stream to Rumble because you're lame. Get it together. I, I don't know what's going on with it, yeah. but we're here. The Salty and Savage Show. Salty and Savage. What Both up, of us. Everybody? We made it. I, uh, yeah, again, apologies for having, having to uh, discover the second link, but y'all got it figured out. Welcome in. Um, Welcome to the show. If you're here, you like that music video, you've liked the shows in the past, please make sure to like and subscribe. We could use your support and we appreciate everyone that is watching right now. Uh, we're, yeah, we, Andrew Campbell says, can't believe OJ died without ever knowing who the real killer was. I, me either, man. man but the real question it. is. Robert Kardashian, where's the Louis Vuitton bag? Where's Ooh. the Louis Vuitton bag? It's a lovely bag, too. It's a very nice bag. Welcome to the show, guys. All right, so what are we talking about today? A new Joker trailer dropped or teaser trailer dropped. What was it, yesterday? Uh, so yesterday or, or earlier. I think maybe it was yesterday and I caught it this morning. So, uh, yeah, discovered it this morning. It's uh, Joker Folia Du. So we'll be uh, chatting, uh, uh, chatting about that, watching that. Um, what else are we doing? There's some C2E2 drama still, apparently. Some C2E2 drama, uh, apparently. We have big news, everybody. Like, really big news. Like, kind of like, what is going on news? Uh, however, let me pull it up here. I'm so bad. I had it pulled up, and now I don't have it pulled up. But super exciting. Pull it up. I swear. Super exciting news. So Ethan Van Skyver has decided that he is going to be attending C2E2. Oh. So he just posted literally minutes ago, 10, 15 minutes ago. He says, I have an announcement. I just got on a flight. I have been given a three-day pass, uh, pass secondhand. I have a hotel room. I will be attending C2E2. And there's not a 
effing thing C2E2 could do about it because I'll be in full cosplay. <laughs> My fans will know what I'll be wearing. Good luck, mother effers. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be very awesome. I think pretty much everyone's super excited about that. That is part of Comics Gate and not part of this cancel culture movement. So we got a lot of responses. People are very, very excited. I wonder if he's going to go as a big chicken. I think he should go as a big chicken. I think that would be uh, double the troll. Ooh. Um, yeah. Super. Or... Hmm. Super awesome. So that is in the news right now. And um, yeah. Good for you, Ethan Van Skyver. Good for you, EVS. Go Good get it. For because you. honestly, that's uh I do I'm a little like, well, I don't want to give them our money, but at the same time, there's other ways to fight back. And I think that this trolling them hard is pretty awesome. Um just one one more time. Thanks again for that OJ video. You put that together this morning on a whim. That was freaking brilliant. That that video is gonna be going live on our channel uh at some point later today, maybe what after the stream, possibly. So we got another a new uh guest here watching, Nathan Nodley, super cool dude. Yo, Salty finally was able to drop in live. Uh thanks Nathan, what up, for, for Nathan. showing up, man. Appreciate it. Damien's here. And Damien, Nathan, what's up, Nathan. dude? Happy to happy to see you here. Uh, should we just jump into that uh, Joker teaser and just take a look at uh, what what, what is dropping from Warner Brothers? That's right, the Joker. Uh, yes, uh, pardon, pardon our uh, pausing and talking and whatnot, but uh, the YouTube to avoid the YouTube copyright strikes. Yeah, so is dirty. Let's see, how's it gonna look? It's gonna look like this. Let's check it out. <laughs> I'm already bored. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? All right. So we start in what? Arkham? Pro looks like it's Arkham Asylum. It's looks a, like we're starting in Arkham. That's always good. Being looked at through a small window. Looked at through a small window. Hmm. Being yeah. framed. Hmm. Let's see. Slow, melancholy version of what the world needs now is love. Oh, I so wonder. So who's the who's... blonde girl? Is that Harley Quinn? So that I is uh, obviously wonder. Lady Gaga. Everyone probably knows. If you don't know, Lady Gaga is in this. So I wonder if she's going to also be insufferable on this in this film, as she is in every other thing that she does. Insufferable. She's going to have a great voice, though. She has a decent voice. We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within ourselves. I do like the cinematography. Really nice. Oh, that was interesting because the those weren't those weren't all colored at first from the front, but then when he looked up, they were colored. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. What do the colors represent? Do you think? I'm nobody. Let's go back. Let's go back to that shot real quick. What do these colors represent? What is this? So he looks up, colors, colors, colors. So we got orange, blue, red. I and yellow or gold. Don't is that? Uh, no. I mean, that, that's kind of the uh, in this particular universe. That's kind of the most expansiveness of the colors with the way that they've you know, the way that they've yeah, presented but that's not it. The colors of the Joker or of uh, no, that's what I'm. Harley that's Quinn. exactly. It's like maybe he's actually feeling this is him feeling like he's walking through a a a, a bed of roses because he's feeling love for you know the first yeah, time or something like that symbolism here i'm not getting all symbolism right. at all maybe we'll someone see. else smarter than somebody us in the chat somebody's gonna have. break it down um yeah somebody's gonna break it down for us all right let's go a little further here we go i'm nobody I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Oh man, it's a good thing they don't wear makeup in uh, in those insane <laughs> asylums. <laughs> Look at that shot. That's a great shot. That Come is on, a great shot that is covered up by your by my use of the scroll bar mm. um, but that's a good shot that, that's going to be a poster they're going to put the logo the title treatment up at the top and they're going to have like the names joaquin phoenix and lady gaga just a, hu a huge just poster a, yeah, which is a bunch of right negative there. space it's yeah. so great that's hot all right
Let's get out of here. Ooh, where are they going to go? To a soundstage in their minds. A soundstage in their minds. You know that's what this is. That, it's, they're yeah. still in yeah, the, they're, probably in the this is, Yeah, right? this is the... I think they actually kind of reveal it in here. This is a duality. What the... Oh man, yeah, dancing in the fire. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, but and then, but then the the running through. Did, didn't, didn't they have this exact scene in the other one? Him running through the cabs. I thought so. It's yeah, su- it's such a great shot. It's the only thing that there's just too Does he get a show? Oh, this is still all in his head. What exactly? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right. Okay. Interesting take. I'm I'm surprised they didn't do more with her hair, but I'm sure they're just like waiting to reveal that. It's gotta you know. have that gritty realism, is why you know. It's interesting. It's interesting. Tell us what changed, Arthur. What what changed, Arthur? What changed? I'll tell you what's changed. We are alone anymore. That's what we should be talking about. This is what we should be talking about. Ooh, they're running away from fire. Okay, so do they set Arkham? Do they light Arkham on fire? Uh. Wow. I mean... The colors, like or lack of color, yeah. like it's so good. The cinematography and the yeah, the the art, whoever the art director is, did a wonderful. Job. This is this is great. I want to see the real you. Oh my god! That's such a great shot. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. It's so. Good. It's so good. Oh my god. Okay. Before we get, but busted I have by the feelings. Algorithm. I have feelings about it because I don't think that it's good for society. Mm. Society. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm a little. I'm a bit disturbed by the fact that someone as wicked and evil and sadistic and twisted as the Joker is the protagonist in a film, uh, because like it's obviously that the first Joker was inspired by taxi because it's basically taxi uh in the dc world taxi driver uh, taxi driver thank you um but there's like a redemption arc there i mean i don't know man like growing up on loving batman reading you know lots of batman comic books and loving the batman animated series loving tim burton's batman christopher nolan's batman uh it just it's we it's odd it's just odd to me and i don't i don't necessarily like it i also but i'm not a big fan of the villain being the center center stage in a film that Dis- disney did you know corella and stuff i i don't i don't know i don't know what that says about society i know that's not a funny thought to have uh and we do like to think that we're kind of a comedy show here but um yeah i don't i don't think i like it i want to see batman kick the joker's ass cuz bat uh, cuz joker is a bad sick dude he's evil <laughs> He is. They 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 do make you. They do make you feel like he is the, the beaten puppy though. You know, yeah. it's like you. They they really lay on the, that cinematic feeling of like, yeah, he has he has bad thoughts, but there's reasons for that. He was wronged so much, and and people just don't understand him. And and there's so much not only uh, uh, of the fans that that enjoy that, but they put it in the movie that that the people actually feel exactly that same way they relate to him directly and that's why he even has a form in the first place which is yeah. who and 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 it looks pretty interesting i don't know if they're going to uh you know if he's actually getting a show if this is all in his head if the i mean you know the entirety of american psycho was probably just in the dude's head but it's a matter of uh, uh, uh finding out once we actually get to see the whole thing yeah no yeah we shall see. I don't BTM. know what is what does the chat think? BTM thinks BTM that we're in the house. Copyright strike. Yeah, yeah. I probably let that song play too long, right? BTM. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, you know who won't be in the film? 
O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson. Not, not a Jew. Not But a guess Jew. who is? Hall of Famer Rod Carew. Yeah, O.J. Simpson will not Burn be it. in... The- he will not be in that trailer. Yeah, I hope we don't get copyright struck. If we do, we'll just uh, take it out and uh, re-upload it. And because yeah, we'll work it out. Really, at the end of the day, we got we got forty seven people watching live now. I think maybe we should play the music video again for every everyone that didn't see it. Sorry for those the, that have, but we're gonna top. go ahead and play we it. We could do a uh, let's play it again. Yeah, let's just go ahead and play it again. All right. Here is OJ Simpson, uh, OJ's last ride. Our music video for today that we're dropping hot. Unbelievably, the most watched, most Wondered about man in America has gone missing tonight. The intersection of the 5 and the 91 freeway. One thing we have been noticing, again, it's a very slow pursuit, tra- uh, followed by numerous uh, highway patrol vehicles. But because of the intensity, it seems like people have heard about what's going on. And all the overpasses that we've seen have been lined with cars. Guilty shadows haunt the night. Dark secrets locked away so tight. OJ on the run. Oh, what a sight. High speed chase, I was blaring in the moonlight. Fame and glory now turn to shame. The taste of freedom lost in this twisted game. OJ. affiliates police believe that that oj simpson is in that car okay police believe he is in that vehicle 911 what are you reporting this is this is ac i have oj in the car fame and glory now turn to shame the taste of freedom lost in this twisted game oj the man with the bloodstained fame Innocent or guilty, who's to blame? Running from the truth, chasing dreams in the night. Oh, OJ, you drive from a faithful life. Guilty shadows follow you, day and night. In the dark. Dude, it's so good. It's so good. It's. I don't know what to say that you wept the fact that you whipped that up this morning. I was when you said when you originally sent it to me, I was like, man, who did somebody write somebody write somebody wrote this song a while ago or something like that? And he's snagging the song. I'm like, are we gonna be even okay to, to use this song? I didn't like, write the song. You know who wrote the song? Well, a computer wrote the song. Well, a computer wrote the song, composed the song. I help with the lyrics, though. I helped a bit with the lyrics. Uh, but yeah, um it was it's pretty, it was funny. pretty awesome, man. I uh, definitely was uh, wanting uh, something very synth, new wave synth pop type music. It was fun. Uh, hey, what up, Kara? Kara's, uh, Kara's here. Phone. Kara, we appreciate you being here. Uh, the New Adventures of Henry says, I like to focus on villains, but there should be no effort to make them good hearted. Follows up with Maleficent. Mal- I can never Mal- say that. Maleficent. Should, Maleficent shouldn't have a good ending. Uh, she should ha- have been defeated. And I'm like, uh, bro, right on the money, dude. Like right on the money. That's exactly my issue. My issue isn't necessarily that. My issue is that the villain is the protagonist. Uh, when the villain is a villain, and I, you know, I still, I'm old school, man. Maybe I'm a fuddy duddy. I like, you know, good versus evil. I like movies to. And if you are gonna have an antihero, you know, there's like a redemption arc or something. Uh, I just, I, I guess I'm. I don't like uh, movies that celebrate evil. I, I just I mean like, it's yeah, a, I don't it's, think it's good for society. It's okay for a villain to have like some good characters. Like there's things that kind of like make them, you know, there are some redeeming characters, but in the end, their ultimate goal is to be a villain or yeah. you know, whatever. Like the, the reason why we yeah. like Darth Vader so much is because we know at the end he becomes a good guy again. And I think that's like 
People all... Wait, uh, spoiler alert. Spoilers, Whoa. guys, if you haven't seen Star Wars. Spoiler alert. Uh, Darth Vader becomes the good guy at Wee. the very end. And I think that's one reason why everyone loves Darth Vader, because he's such a, a badass. He's super Does awesome. He? Um, he's super badass. What are you talking about? No, I'm kidding. I I'm think kidding. they kind of ruined it with the whole fact that he killed a bunch of children um, and was yeah. also a whiny little you know what, because he's always I like, nobody them. likes me. Because ah, that was a really terrible performance. Oh, the sand, but, yeah. it gets in my clothes. <laughs> Boo -boo. <laughs> Boo -boo. Uh, you guys tell us what you think. Boo -boo tell us in the comments, smash that like button, subscribe, and then maybe in the chat, just like, do you like villains as the protagonist? What do you think about that? I don't know. I don't. I mean, so we uh, uh, OJ again. Condol and condolences go out to uh, Chloe Kardashian. Condolences. Oh yeah, apparently uh, Chloe Kardashian is getting condolences for OJ's thousands uh, of passing, condolences messages. That is, is hilarious. Why Chloe? And like, what? What's what's the story there? Is there a story there that I'm the, missing? The story. The the Hollywood rumor is that if you look at the Kardashian kids. Uh, and th and think about how close uh, uh, OJ and Nicole were with uh, Robert Kardashian and um, and Chris Kardashian at the time. Uh, they think that there may have been some intermingling, and some say that Ooh. just just look at Chloe, and it appears to be evidence that possibly OJ was her father. So I mean, you can't tell now because she's had like done work to her face. Like she you looked, think she bleached her skin. Just she to, looks completely to... different. I no. She Michael Jackson's her skin. her skin. Did she Michael Jackson her skin? Vitiligo, vitiligo her skin. Yeah, because that was vitiligo. Sure. Mm -hmm. Dude, what? Uh, yeah. So uh, should we talk about the C two E two drama update? We have more drama updates. There's additional. E2. Yeah, there is additional C two E two uh drama. It is. Um, it's probably. What is that? It's probably right here. Who is it? Star Wars girl? The Baron says, wow, I never thought this show would be talking about the Kardashians. Neither did I, but then OJ died, and you're going to talk about it because that's just... They're you're, not gonna, you're not going to not talk uh, about it. Yeah, I hate the Kardashians. I hate the fact that they're so popular, and I think that says everything that's wrong with this country. Yeah. Um, all, all right, right so yeah, so the big drama now is, is that uh, if you don't know, there's a comic book artist named John Malin, Shane Davis, Ethan Van Skyver, they were going to go to C2E2 under uh, Nine Lives Comics. They got their table canceled because they have <clears> bad <throat> ideas about, you know, things like, I don't know, stuff that we thought about five years ago, just normal 10th grade biology. Apparently, they're stuck in, uh, I don't know, 2020, and they're not allowed to be. So they got canceled. And then that Star Wars girl, who's like probably the nicest person on YouTube, she got canceled because she's friends with them. But... And then John Malin was like, oh, I'm going to show up to C2E2 as a attendee. And they're like, no, you're banned for life from C2E2. John Malin's a comic book artist, pretty like, he's just a dude. He's just a dude from Michigan living in his, his, his house and never leaves the house. And he was going to leave the house for the first time in like five years to go to C2E2. <laughs> and they're like, nope, you can't, you're banned. And uh, Star that Star Wars girl uh, pointed out that uh, Mark Brooks is on the guest list and uh, – an attendee he's got a table he's uh on the website as someone who's attending uh and he's done this if you want to play the video yeah he's done this so uh yeah she says she got an email from the vice president lecturing her about the code of conduct well uh, uh apparently they don't follow their own code of conduct because this guy mark brooks is a guest and he did stuff like this so you don't believe that was gave, like i would hide under a name you like gave shane john if you want to come see Boy. me in person Come see me. I'm going to assume if you're standing in front of me that I'm going to take all this weight I've gained and beat your fucking ass. Ooh, so other than, other than that, nice. stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> New York I Comic Con in three days? Men, Are you going to be oh, in New York Comic Con wait. in three days? No, I'm not going to New York Comic oh, Con. Oh, come on. Why don't you get a ticket? Come see me. You want to fight me at New York City Comic Con? I'll you fight you wherever you weirdo. want. It, it, you coward. Mark, you want to fight me at New York City coward. Comic Con? Come Is that what you're what? saying? Come on, coward. You pussy. You insult oh, my I'm fucking six-year-old autistic daughter. You run Dude, from gay belt. I about your daughter. And, about and he did. He actually did insult his daughter. daughter. You coward. Unsafe you coward. Convention. You psychopath. You sociopath. I'm Mark, talking about you're you. You're completely wrong, you, you asshole. You're completely, you're completely wrong. wrong. Come see me. You believe something Come that on. isn't true. I'm such a woman. Come this see me. This should be easy. How are you? no brain. So, oh my God. The reasonable guy's bad. Oh my God. The psychotic guy that's acting like a 
12 year old girl so uh, ridiculous is not banned and the difference is is that one guy votes one way and the other guy votes another way <clears throat> or and in 2024 uh you know the the bad guys from ww2 apparently run c2e2 so there you go oh my god i loved hulk hogan w oh wait wwf my bad my bad um what up hello the casbah dude how's it going man casbah brought the casbah um what are you drinking buddy i'm drinking a kentucky bourbon whiskey from a local distillery called the uh that damn uh whiskey that good. that damn whiskey that damn whiskey but it's because it's uh, a distillery that is inside of a dam or a former dam ah uh, the remnants of a dam M. so yeah that's kind D-A-M of you know, whiskey that damn whiskey but actual literally it's inside of a dam i'm gonna finish off this so that's the drama in c2e2 update like basically mark brooks and if, if you don't know who mark <clears throat> brooks is go look him up go say hi he might have you blocked uh because he hates anybody that's in, associated with comic comic skate he hates anybody that's associated with liberty uh and like liking america oh um, man don't do that don't don't like america the irony being is that he's a short little guy it's very short, rotund so the i think the guy. only time he's ever actually been in a fight is with his scale when it was telling him the truth because dear god he's got like midget arms sorry or short people arms what's the what's the correct term you can't little say he's person? got these little arms and then he's got this gut and he's just this little guy and he's like and it's just la it's hilarious that he's like i'm gonna kick your you come see me he's like at, oh man kind of con. look i i've gained all this weight i'm i'm 113 pounds now <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what he. I have no idea. No, this is the, fir this yeah, the first time I'm learning of the guy. He's gained is like in his gut, and it's definitely not anywhere in his upper, like, you know, upper part of his torso. He's just a little turd. And the fact that like C2E2 hasn't banned someone like that, who has, that's not the only time that he's actually threatened people. He's he's literally threatened other people. He's like an unhinged weirdo. And if it Maybe was like. If it was just something where he's like, "Hey, well, come fight me then," you know, and you were like, "Ah, okay, okay," yeah, but no. he's like, "No, seriously." He was like, "Why spitting. are you not coming like, to New York?" Come, come. He was getting, he was getting riled up. He was, he was getting like, had make spittle, a racket, like he was running down his racket. lips. He's just like, ah, ah, ah. "It's like, oh, dude, whatever, man." And that's the kind of guy that when they do that, you just like when they get all like whatever, even if they try to like, because they're never, they're all talk. They're just like blah 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 blah. But you just kind of like, you know just pat their cheek a little bit just oh you so oh you're so angry that's what you have to do to them oh my goodness salty and savage show welcome uh once again just want to say welcome to episode five we had like the sickest thumbnail you got to wait for us to re-upload it because i screwed up the uh, uh rumble we'll, we'll screwed it up we'll rumble say that i screwed, screwed it up, up. but we're anyway. never streaming live to rumble again screw rumble God. get it together guys Good but Lord. uh yeah our our thumbnail oh my god when we re-upload this you actually you, pro you probably all saw it on the other uh, uh go they ahead saw it on twitter they probably comment twitter. yeah go ahead and comment in the uh, section about how dank that thumbnail is oh, yeah the baron the says joker on the bronco fighting... oh sorry sorry Savage. no no, no uh, go on the baron says nerds fighting online is funny and it's yeah it's uh I mean, EVS is a nerd, but I'm pretty sure that if that was actually to happen, I'm putting all my money, like all of my money on EVS, even though I don't think EVS would actually ever try to start anything. I'm pretty sure that he's going to finish it and that with Mark Brooks, that's going to be EVS sitting on him and just kind of gently tapping Mark Brooks on the face and telling him, are you done? Are you done? Are you done, little guy? Are you, are done? you done? And he's like, he's, he's spitting and then like sucking it back up over the top of his face. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> anyway. anyway, so anyway. on to other news, on to other exciting. What? what hey, do, do you want to, uh, 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 in the comic book world, there is another comic book that's kind of like close to our hearts and you whatnot. You got the old one. I do have I have the OG. I don't have the I don't have the new oh, one yet because I think speaking of I new comic the... books, I just got this in the mail from Richard Embry. Uh if you guys haven't heard of this, what? it's Blood called and the Blood Sword. and the Sword by Richard Embry. It's just a floppy, it's like twenty two pages. It's a good story though. It's a fun story. A three and a half inch floppy? Am uh, I right? Anyone? <laughs> Anyone that old? Anyone? Okay, All right. Okay, boomer. But it's a really good book. You should check it out. Uh I really enjoyed it. Um I 
really kind of am looking forward to more issues. I would love uh, when, when they come out with a graphic novel. Well, that was really, really good. Um, and then shameless plug for my book. If you want to check out my book, um, there's a link in the chat. And that's Silence Do Good. I would love your support. We won't play the trailer because you probably have all seen the trailer. And if you have it, you just go to turkeyrobot.com and see the trailer or any go or the link. Well, you'll see the trailer. Uh, but in other news, we have some video game news. So there's oh, we have new, some video. Oh, oh, that's right. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? New what video, video game, game news? news? <laughs> that's right. Um, we just talked about this. Yeah. So this happened a couple of days ago. You might have heard about it. Uh, Tomb Raider is getting a name change. So uh, Wait, Tomb what? Raider, the the, um, the company behind Tomb Raider says British adventurer Laura Croft will transition from being a raider of tombs to a seeker of truth. Do you think As, that they used the word transition specifically because that's a I think that's a. I think that might be a dog whistle. You think? Okay. Okay. Go on. Go on. It might be a dog whistle. Go on. I'll just. I'll pretend I didn't hear um, it. Then. So, <laughs> <laughs> to a seeker of truth, as Evil Hat Productions. Oh, uh, there's no. Yeah, that makes sense. Seeker of uh, truth for Evil Hat Productions. Truth, as Evil Hat Productions and Crystal Dynamics seek to redefine the Tomb Raider series in order to escape its colonial past. What kind of what? I mean, okay. Okay, so like colonial, like, oh, finding old lost treasures and taking them or. Uh, you know, I'm, I, well, because that's the thing is like colonialism is bad. And it's like, is it though? Because um, let's think about colonialism for a second. So before colonialism, no uh, process of a wheel, enslaving each other, treating women less than livestock, uh, raping and pillaging, uh, no mathematics, not no ability to read, no clean water, you know. Um, average life cycle of like 28 years after colonialism you get civilization so, law right, so, and order women's rights but you know i guess we oh, hate that so which which one is it law and order svu or is it also just Col law and order. also the colonial, the colonial like, edition are, are her shorts colonial because <laughs> i mean they're i don't longer now they're gonna she's actually not gonna have shorts anymore oh no wait She's gonna have cargo pants. She's gonna have cargo pants because they don't want to, you know, because be that's the other thing, right? The other thing now is is that video game characters, like with the Star Wars, uh, the new Star Wars game, where the the voice actress for the Star Wars character is actually really attractive woman, and then they did face capture on her to design the character, like they did with the previous Star Wars, uh, where they got that, you know, ginger actor. Um, yep. But the character is hideous, so they they like made her ugly. They're like, oh, attractive girl. But we can't have an attractive girl in our game because somebody might be offended by Wait, who did wait, 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 hold on. Who did they make ugly? Oh. Will someone look it up for me? I can't even remember now. Let me stop sharing my screen. But this is the thing that's happening in games right now, which is really, 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 really ridiculous. Um, it's obnoxious, and I'm 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 personally tired of it. I think Gums Row, uh, I can't remember his name on Twitter. He's calling for a boycott of all AAA games. And as a modder of old, like, I like to mod Skyrim, Fallout Four, Fallout New Vegas. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, nerd. maybe we should. Yeah, I'm a giant nerd, but maybe we should boycott games until they stop being stupid and putting all their dumb politics in it. I just want to play a game. I tend to not play games with girls as the as the main protagonist because I'm just find that weird. Like I'm I like role playing games. I'm like, I'm not gonna role play as a girl. But like, why do the girls have to be ugly? Like, what's that? What's that mm -hmm. about? No one wants to play. Know. No one wants to see ugly people unless it like is part of the story. I don't know. What I do mean, you guys think? I mean, when I'm playing Warcraft, I'm like I'm all orc man. I'm like the uglier the better. Give it to me, dirty Warcraft two. I played the original Warcraft. Obviously, Warcraft 2 was a big ups, was big step up. But if you want to talk about boomers, geez, I'm old. Never mind. <laughs> we'll stop talking about how these video games Dude, that literally Warcraft. came on what floppy disks. That was like it's so good. Warcraft 2 was so great. It's, I mean, every clash of whatever game today is based off of Warcraft 2. Yeah, and this is where Twitter decided to be dumb. But yeah, um, Uncapped Turtle said, Jedi Fallen Order... That's the one. And honestly, the character looks like Matt Damon's character from Team America. Bagged cereal. Like, straight up. It's Matt like, Damon. And the girl is is actually, she's young. She's not She's not a hideous thing. And they were like, no, we're going to make her look like the puppet from uh, Team America. It's so weird. And I'm just tired of it. Dude, un, uh, Uncapped Turtle's in here. Got to give uh, big ups to Uncapped Turtle. I didn't see. Yeah. 
So if you guys saw the intro, we're going to play the intro one more time uh, a little bit later in the show. But Uncapped Turtle edited an intro and uh, outro for us, and it's super awesome. And if you... Uh, if you don't okay, don't no follow good. him, uh, start so start following him on YouTube. He he posts really good stuff. He makes funny videos. Um, we actually should show your uh, we're going to show your Twilight video next week because there'll probably be no, more news about that guy, Uncapped Turtle. I'm Twilight. Talking about, I'm talking about this guy right here. If you don't know, I'm retarded. it's every time oh my god just had to throw that out there real quick and i did you're not retarded you're just slow it's so it's so bad <laughs> we're so terrible we're just terrible i don't terrible. care i don't care oh yeah uh care. the barons the barons dropping uncapped turtle in the uh in the chat so big ups to uncapped turtle like i was the uh uh Super impressed. That's all I gotta say. That everything that Uncapped Turtle has uh, presented in the last couple of days, I'm like, man, um, someone trying to be part of this show. Holy sh! Yeah. Like, like, super thanks. Awesome. Really appreciate it. Super awesome. Thanks, Uncapped Turtle. Well, so that's what we've got going on with Tomb Raider CTE2. Um, oh yeah, Tomb Raider Colonial Shorts. Got it. It's. I mean, really, what are they gonna? I mean, what, what, she she's gonna be a seeker of truth. So is she gonna look for like facts in a book somewhere? Like, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Is she going to like, like truth of like, like more, more like moral truth? Like what the, what are you even fucking you talking know what I about? Think it's going to be, I think it's going to be uh white liberals feeling better about themselves by writing and creating a character. That's a, uh, a, a white savior. I think that's what it's going to be. I think it's going to uh, be oh, like white savior. A crap. savoir. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like, cause, okay. Because white liberals can't help themselves but try to be like, because like, because they don't actually, they're the most racist people on the face of the earth because they think that everyone that's not white is somehow less than them. And it's up to them to help make their life better. Oh, we're going to make your life better. And it's like, you know what would be really make well, our lives better? You just shut up and go away. Leave that, me alone. That is a trending message that was in uh, uh, the movie industry for. For shizzle, what the the amount of truth that that holds is one thing, but the movies push, push, push. So she's not going to, you know, be Laura. Croft. Yeah. So it basically <laughs> is it like not... another game. Like that's the thing. What I don't understand about these like left wing trolls. It's going to be trolls. Leonard Croft. Why can't they just make a new game? Make a new game then. And the reason why you can't make a new game is because everything you do sucks. So what you have to do is you have to try to ride the coattails of something that's got a fan base and then put your little stupid message into it so that somehow that's going to like preach to us because you're evangelical and obnoxious instead of just like, I don't know, make something new. But you know that we're not going to buy your new crap because you guys are the most uncreative losers that everything you turn, to, everything you touch turns to garbage because you're crap because you're garbage on the inside there's nothing good there's nothing good about you and i'm tired of it leave my crap alone leave my games leave my movies leave my comic books alone <clears throat> i mean all right all right i feel like make a new ip you locus <laughs> <laughs> is he talking about us? <laughs> well, we're working on it, okay? Here. Here's Salty your, rants. Here's your new IP. Right Salty here. rants. Salty rants. Right here. I swear it's good. Issue two is coming out soon. I'm starting on colors so now. I'll be if, done soon. If I did, I'm probably one of the people that bought like the combo, so I have to wait longer for my whole thing to show up or yeah, something. Yeah, because right? the combo that you bought was the graphic novel, which is going to sure. be like a many pages. It's going to be issues one through three. So it's a full, complete story. Got it. Um, and then we're getting issue two done. And then issue three is already penciled, written and penciled. Uh, so that's just going to need inks and colors <clears throat> as well. So they're going to come out a lot quicker now because I've decided to leave my full-time job of being a creative director with the entertainment advertising world and just do this show and my comic book and stick money in my ears and go that's what i'm doing now in a forest in tennessee in a forest in tennessee 
Uh, it's it's beautiful. I've seen photos, but uh, they make a laxative for being garbage on the inside. They should. <laughs> they should. Poop it out for when you're garbage on the inside. And all you people ruining my video games could take it so that you stop sucking at life. So what uh, a quick question, because you speaking of video games and you talked about uh, modding video games and whatnot. What are the main uh, like, say, for for Skyrim or something like that? What, what are the main mods that you do? And like, why do you do them? Is it is it a uh, uh, removing limitations, particular restrictions, or is it like, oh, uh, uh, I want all the weapons, or what's, what do you mod? Well, modding? first, like the several, there's several textures lists of the map. mods that you need to fix all the bugs from a Bethesda game, because everyone knows that's played a Bethesda game, is that they're chock full of bugs. Forgot. All the time. Forgot and they that, never yeah. get fixed. So first mods that oh, you Oh, you're awake. Is, um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> what, what I would say is, um, I just like to have i like to add gameplay i like to add some animation i like to add new combat systems like just like uh, to, just just, just the quality of the uh, animation it just yeah so like well there'll be like it's a 10 year old game or like a 12 year old game so there's all these mods yeah. like modernize it so there's yeah. really no okay. reason to play a triple a game right now guys I'm, I'm i'm serious like just find a bethesda game like fallout skyrim get a bunch of mods figure out how to mod your game uh good luck on the playstation <laughs> nathan um because uh yeah i'm a totally playstation like, guy damn it um but pc's the best because you know uh console peasants that's a sad life to live i feel sorry for you but there's a lot of ways that you can modernize a lot of these older games and just play a better game with a better story and then the graphics will be better uh there'll be new content the new crafting systems uh it, the world is kind of your oyster uh polyart says uh morrowind skyrim is better than skyrim um agree to disagree while Morrowind is the new Vegas of uh, Elder Scrolls, when you play a modded Skyrim and you mod it to the gills, uh, you can add mods like Morrowind loot and just make your gaming experience uh, that much better. And the graphics are phenomenal. Can't play GTA 5 story anymore because the Meriwether Port Heist is broken. Oh, really? In the story? Wait, how is the story mode broken? The story uh, is like it's self-contained on the disc. I thought interesting. Yeah, well, that, that, that that's fine. Like, <laughs> I, yeah. I like that GTA is a is a game that pretends to be an open world game is on rails. It's and you, you have to play their character. I always say games where you have to play their character. Yeah, I, I play I play online for you know just a, a short period of time, a couple times a week, and it's really just to there's like maintenance and then sometimes it's just venting like i want to just go out and stand in the middle of an intersection and just mow everyone down yeah <laughs> you know and it's it's a video game so that's fine because i have zero intention on doing that in real life but it is therapeutic there is something <laughs> it's therapeutic to run around los angeles murdering everybody well especially hmm. when it looks so close to los angeles what does and that say about pretty you? much the same amount of people get in my way and drive like morons in gta five as they do in actual los angeles so, so it is satis it is satisfying it's probably good that you're moving to iowa man i really the, did uh, like red dead redemption though i did not like red dead the redemption best. 2. it's the uh, red dead like 2 red is the be is the it's so good i don't like i don't like the character if i don't like your main character and it's a scripted okay. uh, playthrough i'm like Agreed. you i'll uh i'll get past the intro and I'll, if i'm not feeling it i'm like i'm done I'm turn it off I'm really i love them. particular i love them oh here there's a glitch that stops the mission. There's always a glitch in a rock. You're a Bethesda Henry, and Rocksteady. There's always a glitch. Henry, you're the glitch that's stopping this mission. What is going on? New Adventures of Henry. Thank you for seeing you again. Good to see you. Neon Thunderbird. <clears throat> Savage is louder than salty. Oh, do I sound do I sound better now? I turn up my mic. We'll Thanks. figure out our audio. We're still Thanks, adjusting Neon. all yeah. the bugs, but yeah, and Neon's been helping me um uh, with my audio setup. He's uh. Awesome. A recording artist. He actually played live with uh, Hall and Oates, and that's Hall and Oates, not Hall and Oates. Um, it's two different guys. Uh, one band, super Hall awesome. Hall and Oates are from their. But he their, opened their for them. Uh, he played with them uh, for a few years, and he's a musician, and he's 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 an awesome dude. If you haven't checked out his channel, you should. Uh, he makes some good music and does some uh, put some uh, some good videos. Man, he's got a great radio voice too. I, wa I, need I watched. Yeah, Holland Oats. I, I that's what I say. I Holland. think it should be they should just go <clears throat> Holland Dutch. Oats and They're then Dutch. and then have a like kind of like the Gorillas, right? Like Holland Oats. They should just redo all of the Holland Oats songs, 
but like to have an animated character like the gorillas and his name is holland oats uh i i saw them uh perform at the what hollywood bowl or something like that two years ago so maybe i saw henry you no you mean uh, neon neon maybe i saw neon yeah sorry sorry Jesus. i do like i can't go for that no 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 do. I said, leave me alone. Do we want to want to? Do we want to watch the OJ last ride video again, or should we uh, you, move on? I feel to, like uh, you want to watch the. I, mean, I don't know. I, I feel like yeah, we'll, every, you know what? We'll end the one's show in the it. chat. One's in the chat. If you want to watch the music video again, uh, two's if you don't, and then we'll um, you know we'll move no. on to something one's, else. We'll move yeah. on to something else. I don't two's know. No. We'll, we'll have fun. You know. Um. <sighs> <laughs> that's how i feel every time someone starts to talk about eric july if i'm not if i'm being honest it's, a, it's like i'd like to i'd like to move on now i'd like to move on now all right please. so two is a no um we two! Gotta... no one wants to watch it again it's oh, just God, uncapped sorry. it's just all oh it's just uncapped yeah. whatever uncapped you Rock know what let's watch uncapped uh intro right now uncapped Rock made this the intro for us seven. um and it's super freaking awesome dude let's watch this real quick god damn it's beautiful i love it i really so good, i really man. dig it i really dig it we have an intro we're like official i mean it's, it's i mean it's, as long as we can get the uh the stream streaming right the next time geez louise eric savage what's your problem we have a major announcement, everybody. Major announcement. Major, oh my God. Oh my God. major, major, major announcement. Oh my God, major announcement. Yeah. Major, major, announcement. major announcement. All right, let's watch this. What this is, is it? Uh, Katie Ditch channel. If you haven't uh, liked and subscribed to her channel, please go and do because she is awesome. Oh, yeah, baby. We've got to get. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be speaking to Eric July soon. Uh oh. Why? We, we, we're gonna. Uh oh. Why would you speak to. I'm retarded. Be sorting some shit out. Are, we're gonna be you? sorting some shit out in terms of merch. merch. We've already We've already announced this, but this is gonna happen, folks. Uh, there's gonna be a brand new range of Hill versus Babyface merchandise, and it's gonna be done through the Ripperverse. It's going to hey. be done through Ripper Sand. Oh, hold on. Uh, let me adjust my pen. It's going to be done through Ripper Sand. Oh. Brand new Heel versus Babyface merch. Does he repeat himself over and over again because it sounds better? <clears throat> Heel versus Or is his brain face? trying to catch up? Um, yeah, right. He's... Ideas. Let them come. We'll do, we'll do specific. We'll do short-term programs if you want as well. We'll do short-term programs. If you want like a 30-day, a 30-day only campaign on a t-shirt, we'll do stuff like that. I'll tell you. <laughs> we are we are going to do Rip and the Silverback merch as well, Jimmy. Yeah. We will be doing Rip and the Silverback merch. Yeah. Who, who's gonna buy that? But, I mean, seriously, why, who is why gonna is the rum who, gone? Who is gonna buy who's gonna buy that? I don't understand. Are people gonna <sighs> I don't know. I I don't like the planet the plushies, that I live on the, anymore. The real BBC plushies are on the verge of release for pre-order. Chat plushies. They're oh, on the verge, like on thing to be to be done. Lids, t-shirts, shorts, gloves, socks, Soska booty. Oh, dude. Lara ripping Croft. a silverback on salt and pepper shakers. Booty shot. <laughs> That's uh... actually a really cool. So like, wait, did he just say salt and pepper is a really good idea? Yeah, I don't. Oh my yeah. god. Um, oh my god. Okay. So, uh, Eric July, I don't know if you know this, he uh, won a major award. Oh, it's a major award. A major award the other day. Um, he won a 
something uh it was like the uh amway employee of the year or something like that so the award that he won uh amway? is um the founder of amway has an award amway for um entrepreneurs like young entrepreneurs or something like that so he won um what's that founder's name so basically what what it comes down to is that rip ascend and rip averse is just a pyramid scheme you mean a multi-level marketing scheme? No, it's a pyramid scheme. It's basically, it, if you're friends with anybody uh, that gets involved with Rip Ascend, um, they're going to annoy you now. They're, gonna, they're going to be on your social media. They're going to be calling you up and being like, hey, hey, guy, hey, don't you want to have free, uh, more free time with your life? Just, you know, join this uh, multi-level marketing uh, thing that I'm part of. So I guess that's what he's starting because he won the award. He's like the Amway Employee of the Year. So like oh, Ripper Sand just, is basically I, like the Amway for comic books. Let me, let me tell you, if you just fill your garage with merch at a drastic discount you can slowly sell it off to all your stupid friends and they'll go ahead and have their stupid stuffies up on the shelf and you'll make so much money but you just have to keep buying them and filling your garage full the, the wife the missus will be just fine with it don't worry she'll be fine oh man what i don't what? know dude what? i don't know oh no let me tell you that. oh we also have uh, dna testing kits because most of you are cocks out there so let's go ahead and get some things checked off jeez louise yeah i don't know man i really don't know hey it's great to see you buddy it's good to be in here it's fun to do a little character right there that guy's <laughs> that guy's a character and a half oh this is who i am on a normal day what they're, they're just, they're over. They're across the pond there. They're like, oh, look, at, I would like a Pepsi. Look at you, Americans, blah, blah, blah. It's, there's nothing funnier than a Brit doing an American's accent. It's so Terribly. fantastic. Yeah. It's so I great. It's so great. I just want to know, like, who watches as and why? What who, is entertaining about nobody, that it's, guy? It's, it's, it's as for sure. Ki I don't care. Kizma white as with that. Is that what character? Is that character? Seven, dr Seven drill, drill rapper? rapper? Oh, your thing. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. I don't know, man. Honestly, I don't know anymore. You know, what's that what's that song where it's like Jokers to the Left or was it Jokers to the Left Me, Losers to the Right? What what how does that go? What is that? What is that song? You uh, know what I'm talking about? Uh, the Bob Dylan song? Um That's how I feel now, to, man. Uh Stuck in the Middle with You? Yeah. Jokers Living. Uh, wait, clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Jokers to the right. Yeah, that's how I feel now, man. In this world, I'm just like, so I got the left ruining video games, banning people from comic cons, being general bad guys from WW2. Um, and then on the right, I don't even know what's going on, man. Terrible comic books, obnoxious people crying about uh, things and just grifting grifting all the live long day like all, all the live all long the, day uh, what you've been doing grifting all the live long day well we got merch for that too i don't know man i can't do it anymore Dude, what are I you talking about do we're anymore. doing it we're doing it this I don't is wanna... a grift this is a grift right here this we're is doing it. you're welcome we're to the welcome, welcome to the new grift welcome to the grift y'all well i'm gonna do a song next week called the uh, rip a grift i'm gonna make a song next week rip a grift Rip a grip. It's coming out, dropping live uh, next Thursday. <laughs> it's dropping live. Yeah, uh, we should we should definitely work on some uh, some more tracks because that was that was fantastic. I mean, that OJ track was. Just I had like, fun. I had fun making that. that was so did OJ do it? I mean, what do you guys think? Did 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 is OJ no. in hell? Is he in heaven? Did is OJ he somewhere not in between? Do it? Is he really dead? I was having worked in the entertainment biz and whatnot. I wasn't. I wasn't working on the day-to-day -day grind of news when this all first happened, but I was working the day-to-day -day grind when he did the whole thing, trying to get his uh, Heisman trophy back in, in uh, Los Vergas. So it, it, it was just uh, like the, the stuff and the sound bites over the years, watching this guy and the things that he says, and then coming out with a book of that was called like, if I did it or something, you're like, what? What are you doing, bro? Just stop. Just stop everything you're doing and squeeze the last of this juice, bro. Just yeah. like, oh, my God.
it's it was just, I just remember it being crazy when I was like, because I was like, I was like in elementary school or junior high when that crap happened. Yeah. Uh, Watching the the yeah. slow speed chase in the Bronco. I ended up having a Bronco extremely similar to that. Mine was black instead of white, but nonetheless, I had one of those Broncos in college and I drove it on the 405. I just remember when I was a kid, my dad ended up going you know, to law school. Go, oh, sorry. I interrupted you. I'm terrible. Hmm. I thought you were done. I thought go, you were done, on. dude. Go on. I'm always done. Um, no, I just remember when I was in junior high. I was like, junior high? No, I was in high school. My dad uh, started going to law school for whatever reason. He was like, oh, I'm going to become a lawyer. I'm going to go to law school. What a loser. Uh, and he, one of his teachers was Christopher Darden. Um, and then my dad didn't oh. become a lawyer. Right. Darden. So, like, lose the OJ Simpson trial, which was totally a slam dunk. Uh, until you said uh, put on the glove, uh, and then yeah, my dad, my dad didn't end up. But I mean, I think it's just because. I mean, sorry, dad, if you're watching, I'm just teasing. But it is funny that you were being taught by Christopher Darden, and then you didn't end up becoming a lawyer because he was probably a terrible, as so bad funny. of a professor as he was a I, prosecutor. I didn't real, I didn't realize this, and someone can go ahead and double check, uncapped on this. But this is hilarious. So the story, if I did it, is hilarious. Goldman's father was given the rights due to the civil judgment, which is understandable. So. Uh, and so he had the chance to put the word if in super small on the cover so that if you went out and bought it, it just looks like it said, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank you, one cap. Kara Fro uh, says she remembers them stopping class and teachers running down the hallway with the verdict. Oh, good God. I Yeah, we had a, I remember um, it was like a big deal. It was like, the, oh, my God, he's innocent. And I was like, is he? Is he? Riots, is he? Riot, yeah. I think I think maybe there was a little bit of um, oh, what did one of the jurors say? It was payback for Rodney King. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm pretty sure that's a direct quote. I think that is a direct quote. Which juror was that? Number five, number six. Uh, which juror? Could you stand up, please? I was a juror on. Oh my God! I haven't I, I haven't talked about this because. Well, I couldn't talk about it, and now it doesn't matter anymore. But I was the juror on a trial uh, like two years ago, uh, a kid-touching trial about some dude who's actually kind of like in my community, who was like a, a community like leader. And, oh, he did all this for the, the local temple, and he did this and did that. And I had to sit through this whole trial of like these young girls coming up to the stand and crying and telling their stories. And I was like... Oh my dear lord, I never want to be a, I never want to be a part of this civil process ever again. Sitting through a kid touching trial is the absolute worst as a juror. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, savage. That, that story made killed, me that you made, just killed that the vibe me. right there. Yeah, oh just, my god. Dude, it was like just being a juror was just such a, a crazy thing. And, 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 oh my God. Anyway, uh, all right. But enough about me. Let's talk about, been you like, about me. Can we hang him? Is that optional? Is that on, is that on the table? Hanging is that on the table? Dude, dude let, let me, let me, just I'm voting you, for hanging. Let me give you one detail. This guy had a soundproof room in his basement because he was an expert, a certified expert on sound design who had designed music studios for some of the absolute biggest names in movies and music production, including like Steven Spielberg. And this guy went down. In my, in my oh. opinion, anyway, he went way down. To, way to take the, the air out, fun of the out of the room. Oh my God. Sorry. It's just like, it's nobody ever, I, I haven't met anybody that was like on, like on anything like that. And just talking about a, a juror experience and then thinking about this OJ trial and the fact that these people had to hear and see all this stuff that they're probably just like, Jesus Christ. I'm just like, what, why is, why is my dad just texted me and he said, yeah, I'm watching. No problem. <laughs> I love you, dad. But I'm actually glad that my dad didn't become a lawyer, because let's be honest, like I have a friend that's a lawyer and he's the only lawyer that I like. And I, I know I know lots of lawyers um, and there's one lawyer in this world that I actually like. And I'm glad my dad didn't become a lawyer because good God, it's the guy on suits, right? No, it's my friend, Kurt Schlichter. And if you haven't checked out Kurt Schlichter's books, there's this really cool uh, series called 
uh, Henry, the adventures of Henry is actually a really big, he's a, he's a, he's a subscriber. He's a big fan of our show, but also a big fan of this book. If you ever want a um, post-apocalyptic Mad Max type wor uh, world where America's in a civil war and it's like a Mad Max world, it's called people's Republic. It's a really, really good series. You can check it out. Yeah. Kelly Turnbull, uh, nice covers. Uh, thank you for saying nice covers because I personally know the artist of the covers. That would be me. Um, but he's the only lawyer that I like, uh, because I think lawyers are the reason why this country sucks so bad. So I'm glad my dad didn't become a lawyer because he kept his soul. So what, uh, I see. Is it, where is, hold on a second. Oh yeah. Are you looking at, you're looking it up. Let's add it to stage. Look, see? Oh, right yeah, there. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. You just go to Amazon. You search People's Republic. There's eight books that come up. It's really, really good. Uh, the Baron will end up uh, finding a link and posting it. Th this, is, this is your, uh, uh, you did this? I did the, I did the, the artwork, cover? and then it's written by Kurt Schlichter. I love it. I we love actually it. have, we're doing a graphic novel of I this uh, series, and that's going to come out. Um, we're going to start on it later this year and probably come out early 2025. Which will be super super awesome. That'll be that'll be a very dark, uh, very different. It'll be a very different than uh, Silence Do Good for sure, because it's, it's going to be um, gritty and dark. Lots of shooting and killing of very bad bad people. It's going to be very violent, not for children. Yeah, that that's actually going to be a lot of fun to draw. Um, and Kurt's going to write it, and he's a. If you haven't checked them out, check out those books. They're really, really good. If you if you like that kind of stuff, uh, you're gonna love it. If you loved, if you like Mad Max the movie, these read they, the books really read like a movie. Oh, okay. Um, they're it's a they're really quick reads. You could pretty much read. It's like I think like 600 pages. Um, you can pretty much read it in a day. Uh, it's good stuff. <clears throat> Is it a uh, oh new story? Oh, did we just do the same thing? Yeah. Um. I'm not going to say anything else, Henry. I'm not saying another word. Uh, we will announce it officially and drop some artwork later this year. And it is going to be very awesome. Thanks again, Henry, for showing up. Um, all right. So, and we've hit, we've hit an hour. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if the people really want to stick around for anything else. You got uh, anything else on your mind, brother? I mean, I mean, I could sit here all night and chat with you, but uh, I mean, I'm down. We could keep going if the chat. I mean, the chat's been a bit quiet tonight, but we can keep we can keep ch chilling out. You know, what? Has, we've we've had more. I, I think we've had more more people on, but the chat's a little bit quieter quiet tonight. Interesting. Which is Maybe, fine. Which is fine. Is, I don't everyone, mind. is everyone intimidated? Hey, chat! Don't be intimidated. Yeah. Chat, come interact with us. Come stop play being, with us. Stop being such a chat. Like, but I think we should. I think we should. It's a good time, guys. I'm sorry. We're going to watch it, Uncapped Turtle. We're going to watch unbelievably, it. Unbelievably, unbelievably, the most watched, most wondered about man in America has gone missing tonight. The intersection of the five and the ninety-one freeway. One thing we have been noticing again: it's a very slow pursuit, uh, followed by numerous. Uh, highway patrol vehicles but because of the intensity it seems like people have heard about what's going on and all the overpasses that we've seen have been lined with cars guilty shadows haunt the night dark secrets locked away so tight OJ on the run oh what a sight high speed chase sirens blaring Turn to shame the taste of freedom lost in this twisted game. OJ, the man with the bloodstained face, is in the guilty. Who's to blame? LA affiliates. Police believe that that OJ Simpson is in that car. Okay. Police believe he is in that vehicle. 
911, what are you reporting? This is, this is AC. I have OJ in the car. Fame and glory, now turn to shame. A taste of freedom lost in this twisted game. OJ, the man with the bloodstained frame. Innocent or guilty, who's to blame? Running from the truth. Chasing dreams in the night, oh, OJ, you drive from that faithful life. Guilty shadows follow you, day and night, in the darkness, justice finds its light. Oh, oh, OJ. <laughs> Oh, Jay, it's so good, bro. Uh, yeah, I so cannot, I cannot get over that. So let's we got th this is like, I mean, I feel like this is a big episode for us because we got uncapped came heavy with the the intro. Hello again, everyone. Hello again, everyone. This is how it goes south. I'm looking into the future and yet not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. <laughs> wow. That's a Uncap Turtle just uh DM'd me that on uh Twitter and uh That's pretty I, great. I, I LOL so yeah, I had not, to I had to share yeah, that. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, man. Uh just you know finish your no, thought. It, it was so good. Oh Jay. <laughs> yeah, I'm all I'm all about it. That song is I'm I'm gonna like loop it. I'm gonna take take it and I'm gonna edit and I'm gonna loop it and it's just gonna be it's so good, man. I'm not gonna lie. Um oh. Uncapped Turtle has a question. You need to discuss that back, back uh, the book cover. What the, book uh, cover? This one. Which book cover? What book cover? What's going on? This book the, cover? This book cover? It's well, dope. I love the Golden Gate and the states underneath him, the dude walking with the dog. Like, it's fantastic. So there's the eight covers. Blue, there's eight books with eight different covers. They always have the map underneath because the map is actually the blue and red states because it's yep. uh, the, a country divided. And so that's kind of like... There's yeah. two different Americas right now, and they're in a, they're in a the hot civil war. Cover. Oh, the OJ book cover. Oh, the OJ book cover. Oh, sorry, man. I got confused. I got confused. Um, let me pull this up. Yeah, there's an OJ. Hold on. I did it. Oh, dude. I did. It. Oh man, hold on. It didn't. Damn it. Why does it keep doing that? Yeah, it's a. Uh... I did it. Confessions of the Killer. <laughs> OJ Simpsons. If um, if is if is yeah. so it's just so tiny right here. If I did Oh my it, god, who designed that cover? If I did it, it's so great. Oh, that's the Goldman cover. Yeah. So what Uncapped Turtle is saying is that that's the goal. So they exactly. what they do, re-release it with that as that's the cover. As as he, oh, because man. because OJ released the book like through a publisher but then immediately oh. the goldman's they had a motion they're like no we should garnish all the wages and we should own the copyright to that because oh, he owes us millions no of way. dollars so immediately they were like oh we'll just go ahead and take that and we'll change the cover art and now you're an idiot oh that is amazing that is like level 11 troll right there oh i love it I did not know that. I things things I don't know. Okay. And and uncap. Thanks for bringing that to our. Attention. That is like, hilarious. I vaguely remembered that and seeing it again. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so good. I think uh, anyway. this this comment from uh, the New Adventures of Henry. It's very Fallout uh, influenced. He's not talking about the the OJ cover. He's talking about the. Um, He's talking about the, the People's uh, Republic uh, covers, and yeah, they are because uh, I'm obsessed with Fallout, the video game. It's literally my favorite video game. Yeah, very uh, inspirado. You know, it's post-apocalyptic, man. So you know, you gotta. You I gotta love and I love. I'm a, I'm a Bay guy, so I gotta love me some Golden Gate. But I will tell you, I will tell tell you, Henry. Um, that is actually more so influenced by Mad Max, which Mad Max influenced Fallout. So if I'm being completely honest, I was pulling my inspiration from the source material, which is. Um, not Mad Max, Road Warrior, Mad Max 2, Road Warrior. Yeah. And if you haven't seen Mad Max, you should. It's now a documentary <clears throat> of what's going on in America. Have you seen the the new Furiosa trailer? It's like two weeks old now, so I don't want to like go ahead and rehash it. But it's uh, who's it? Anya Taylor-Joy is uh, Fur young Furiosa. 
Which, so they got rid of Charlize Theron because she's too old. Get out of here. You're too old. Well, yeah, they were like, we're going to do a young one, and we can't make you look that young anymore. Sorry. It's just not just not going to happen. So, even though, you know, we can make uh, Robert De Niro look like a child yeah, in but it uh, looks, The Irishman. It looks, it looks it's terrible. Oh, it's garbage. Well, here's the creepy. thing. is they, they, they do it, but then why is it that three weeks later after that's released some dude on the internet is like i took this and i redid it and i made it look way better it's like why don't you fucking hire that guy Mm -hmm. like the face of luke skywalker in the mandalorian or whatever in that episode it was like yeah it was atrocious and then someone immediately was online like oh my god let me just let me fix this for everyone jesus rhymony uh kara fro says that's it i'm clipping this and sharing on x if that's okay if you're talking about the music video no need to clip it it is actually on our channel right now, so you can... Is it already live? It's already live. The music video is a separate... It's uh, live on our channel. You can just go to our channel, and you can watch it, share it, oh my gosh. download it, do it whatever you want. It is there. It is there. Yeah. Um, so the music video is available. Yeah, so the... the I don't, I don't like, I don't like the special effects of making people young. I think it looks creepy. Just hire a new actor, man. Like it's not that big of a deal. There's plenty of actors out there. Um, I'm sure that they, they, the actors probably need to be inside the baby drinking club. So there's that. So it's you know a little bit smaller of a circle. Ooh, baby um, drinking club. But um, you know, because everyone in Hollywood is a baby blood drinker. But whatever. Yes, I and, said uh, it. Uh, baby blood drinkers, welcome to the Salty and Savage Show. Glad to have you in. Appreciate it. So was it was it a good trailer? Should we watch the trailer? Do you guys want to watch the trailer? I don't want to yeah, watch it's, the trailer. It's old. Crap, it's old. Dude. I feel like that trailer is old. Um, Did OJ like ever old. get lucky stabbing glove back? <laughs> the, his lucky stabbing glove? I don't. I don't. It's in. The, it's yeah. in that Louis Vuitton bag. That nice. Uh, that was the dumbest move, wardrobe man. bag. I just remember, like, because my, you know, my dad, my dad actually knows the law pretty well. Was studying. He, you know, he was he was practicing the LSATs and doing that whole thing. Um, really smart guy. And I remember when we were watching that trial live, you know, my my dad's just getting ready to go to law school and stuff. Um, And he's like, what? Why would you have him try the glove on over a rubber glove? And and, yeah, because he's going to willfully put the glove on because he's going to just be like, well, just let me just uh, go ahead and admit my guilt. Like, he probably had his hand all like, oh, it doesn't fit. And then they had the latex glove on because you can't get the fingerprints on no, the glove. The dumbest move, man. Johnny Cochran knew that that was coming. And <sighs> you you know you know the, the night before. They were practicing. They were going to do it. No, they put his hand on the table, and then they smashed it with a Bible. Oh. And, and so his hands all his hands all just like, oh, man. It's, and my arthritis and oh, and everything. It's like, so his yeah. hand's swollen. He's got arthritis. He's, he's got a rubber glove on and you're not going to get anything on your hand move, if you're man. wearing a rubber glove. The dumbest and, move. And I, I, I'm not going to say that I was there doing the Bible striking, but if I'm OJ and if I'm his defense team, we're smashing your hand the night before because your hand's going to be swollen as fuck. So dumb. This is a dumb move. Although, I mean, the jury had already decided. They were like, we're getting revenge hey, for he Rodney the, King. That guy said the... That guy said the N-word like like a while ago, and so this whole thing is out of order. We're just gonna go ahead and just Oh, the just what's do his it. name? What's his name? Mark Mark Furman. Mark Furman. That they were oh my god, they were like, oh my it it was brilliant though. The def, but you know, the defense by all means it was brilliant to be like, no, 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 we're gonna make this about the LAPD. We're not even gonna make this about you. We're gonna flip it on, we're gonna flip it on them. And everyone went, Oh yeah, fuck the LAPD. Because nobody <laughs> liked the LAPD. So it was everyone well, was just mean, like Okay, well, pile first pile on culture. If you've ever watched the, uh, the 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 television show The Shield, it's literally taken from court cases of the LAPD and Burbank Police Department. And as someone who is friends with people of the Burbank Police Department, let me tell you, cops are bastards. There's something else. Not the biggest fan of the cops. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Baron says, "Come on, guys, it didn't fit, so you must have quit. It didn't fit, so you must have quit." Did you uh, uh, shampoo and rinse your hair? The Dana Carvey bit. That's we'll always. And oh anytime we talk about the OJ, can thing, we watch that without getting copyright struck? No, I I don't know about that. It was like a, <laughs> it was either a Comedy Central or a. Oh my god, that was such 
a good bit. The Chewbacca oh, defense. Man. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what? You know what else is a good bit? You know what else? We we should watch it. We should actually watch it. Um, oh, it's coming right up because, yeah. Let's go ahead. What you got? We're just gonna go ahead and have a good time right now. We're gonna have a really good time have right a now. Good time. Oh, oh, you guys ready? Jay. Justice through the night something else i gotta memorize the words to that song let's just do let's just watch this for a little bit oh. so for the oj simpson case we're asked to fill out a 75 page jury questionnaire this week in the entire state of california only one person got a perfect score ha ah, so um just so you know that we're about to watch uh we're not gonna watch all 11 minutes because oh, it's actually man. really long but we're gonna watch the reason why norm mcdonald was fired from saturday night live chow so ming Wu, after the trial not for this. Caltech. Not for this. By the way, you can now. <laughs> we'll just pause it, you know, because we got the copyright strike. Purchase Guys. a bronze statue of the juice for only $3,395. And for an even five grand, you can buy one that Al Cowlings has kissed the ass of. And if you don't know who Al Cowlings is, he's the guy that was driving. AC. Uh, was driving, uh, the Bronco. driving the Bronco and also played with him on the Raiders. Was it the Raiders? I think it was the Raiders. No, he played with them on. He was on the Raiders. Did he play with them on? I don't know. They were like best friends. They were being he best. played for a minute. <laughs> OJ Simpson's new fitness video was released this week and hitting the shelves next week. Simpson's newest video, Dorf on Stocking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! You got to be of a certain age to even remember who uh, Dorf dude, you is. You have to be old. You have to be old Those to were remember VHS what the S tapes. There were they didn't even come out on DVD. Dorf doing anything. It was this spoof character guy who like just was this oddball character. I don't know. He's kind of like the. I I guess like imagine like if someone had done like an early Borat, but he wasn't. He was American. He was just like such a weird character and he did all this goofy stuff. Oh my God. Okay. Let's do talk about dating us. Jesus dwarf. <laughs> like... uh -huh. The crowd is torn. <laughs> According to retailers, the most so correction from um, so my, my my father who is texting me right now because he doesn't uh, do the chat. Um, he said that they played together at SC, and my dad would know because he's old. Popular Halloween mask this year is OJ Simpson, and the most popular Halloween greeting is "I'll kill you and that guy who's bringing over your glasses." Or treat. <laughs> this is exactly why Norm got let go. It's so good. But people were not. And if you don't ready. think Norm McDonald is funny, I hate you. People were not ready. No, I'm serious. If you don't think Norm McDonald is funny, one of my, I hate you. One of my favorite Norm McDonald jokes is he, sa he says, all right. All right, forget everything you know about bread. All right? Forget everything you know about bread. All right, now let me tell you about this new thing I invented, bread. <laughs> He's so good. Oh, my he, he God. Was, he was so good. So good, man. Rest. I just the, – the, the one bad thing about – Norm Macdonald dying before O.J. Simpson is is that Norm Macdonald can't do a eulogy for O.J. Simpson because that oh that would have been a eulogy that gave O.J. some justice. That would it really been, would have. No, it would have been given awesome really justice have. too. <laughs> and the Pope came out with a book this week, which contains a series of essays examining faith and morality in today's secular world and the changing role of the Catholic Church as it approaches the 21st century. The book is entitled. God himself told me that O.J. is guilty. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. The, the Lord spoke. We all do, Baron. We all do. We all we we should. And if you don't like Norm Macdonald or find him funny, 
I hate you. There's something, yeah, there's something about Norm's humor that it's like, if you if you don't get it, then I just don't. I don't. I don't know if we can be friends. I'm sorry that it's you're a, you're going to hell. I think you might actually that's not be necess- going to hell. That's not necessarily. No, true. it's not. True. At that's the same true. time, that's not true. It's like, you're not oh really my god, his humor was his humor was a. Uh, I don't know. It was one. It was uh, a humor that comedians appreciated. It was yeah. so good, and it was it was almost meta before meta was even like a concept. God, he was fantastic. All right, this has got to be a good one, right? This is an autobiography in which he states that he never loved Princess Di and that his father pressured him to marry her. The book is entitled, Of Course O.J. Did It. I mean, come on. (laughs) In his book, O.J. Simpson says that he would have taken a bullet or stood in front of a train for Nicole. Man, I'm going to tell you, that is some bad luck when the one guy who would have died for you kills you that's probably <laughs> oh my god oh sorry he wouldn't, he wouldn't take a knife stabbing for you oh, but he, the one guy that would oh my save god. you kills you is the one that killed dude oh my this is exactly god. why he oh, got this like is that. gonna be yeah we're, we're just sitting here watching norm videos and yeah, everyone's like whatever, nom, 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 nom. how great yeah. is norm Successful fucking gold OJ will work on yet another book entitled from football to prison, my 25 years of showering with other men. <laughs> and finally, in a- oh, wait, hold on. Because oh. of the copyright, we got to pause it because of the copyright. Oh, that, one, that one was still funny. It wasn't as funny, but still, you know, it was that funny. Was so good. In honor of the 50th anniversary of their first publication, Random House will be releasing special commemorative issues of many Dr. Seuss classics. The first to hit the bookshelves will be Green Eggs and Ham and O.J. is Guilty. <laughs> Judge <laughs> Judge Ito. Oh, my gosh. I'm sure that my father will remember um, Judge Ito. I think Judge Ito was like BFFs or like colleagues or went to school with some, but one of the guys on O.J.'s defense. So he should have recused himself. This whole thing was a mess. And the guy got away with it. He got away with murder. I said it, people. I said it. He got away with murder. I went to a wedding that Judge Ito was the efficient for. Really? Yeah, I attended a wedding in, uh, it was like Westlake Village or something like that. Also, actually, this is kind of an awesome thing. Also, uh, uh, aside from him being the efficient, in attendance was, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, he played, he was he was the original uh, in Battlestar Galactica. He was the original... Uh, uh, what's his name? He was then in the later, the new Battlestar Galactica as like Zarek or something, the bad guy. I've never watched Battlestar Galactica. Oh, well, no, I, that's not true. I watched it when I was what? a kid, the reruns when I was a kid. I never watched the new one. Dude, is that, so, does that, does that, the do original, I get, do I have the to, original like, surrender guy, my the, nerd card? The original star of the original one, the young, he was, he was young at the time. Yeah. He, he then he was in the, but anyway, he was at this wedding as well. So it was a very Hollywood wedding. You had Judge Ito as the efficient. You had like a, a star of Battlestar Galactica dancing like an old white guy, like dancing like, uh, uh, what's your name from Seinfeld on? Yeah. The, uh... <clears throat> oh, God, it's good. So my dad says it was Johnny Cochran. They were buddies. They were oh, like, the, they went to right. school together. They were like buddies, so like best friends. Johnny Cochran. Um, Johnny Cochran. I mean. So um, the only famous person I've ever seen at a wedding was um, Larry Parker. And Larry, if you're Larry, not from California. Larry H. Parker? Larry H. Parker. And I don't the, know. Is that like a California thing or is that like a. I think uh, it is. I think it's just a California. So it's just like this lawyer guys like from the 80s and still is practicing law today. And he had this commercial where they have this dude that would say Larry H. Parker got me two point. One million dollars, and little did they tell you that the man was sitting in a wheelchair because of an accident that he got into. Um, but yeah, that's it. And so we we're at this wedding, and it was outdoors in in their backyard. And Larry H. Parker sitting there in the front row because he was friends with the father of the bride, and I was friends with both of the bride and the and the groom. And he he's sitting there on the end of uh, on the opposite side of where I was sitting, and he just like reaches up to the tree grabs a pear pulls it off of the pear tree and just starts eating it right there in the middle of the 
gangster. <laughs> and I'm just like, Larry H. Parker is a baller or a a douchebag. And only, I think maybe a little bit of both. The only more gangster thing is if he pulled that pair off the tree and then like flipped out a knife and started slicing it off and putting it into his mouth. Oh my gosh. Norm plus OJ is peanut butter and jelly. Oh God, it was so good. And, or you could also say the same thing with Norm plus Frank Stallone. Also, oh my God! If you know anything about Norm Macdonald, oh you know about Frank Stallone. So we're gonna have to add Norm Macdonald to the um to the to the headline for this because we're basically talking about Norm Macdonald now because he's the best thing that ever happened to O.J. Simpson, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my God! He's nobody wrote better material for O.J. Not even the people in Naked Gun, even though no watching him get boom, bong, bing, bong, boom, oh, ah, ee, is hilarious. <laughs> oh let's watch this some more let's watch this some more Judge Ito was interviewed this week by a local TV station in Los Angeles asked by the interviewer if it was appropriate for a supposedly impartial judge to be on TV with his case still pending Ito said maybe not but how appropriate is it to kill your ex-wife <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. See, there it goes. So that's the oh. joke. See, that's what he was letting us know is that, um, oh God. Uh, so yeah, so, <clears throat> so, oh yeah. So according to, um, my dad who is older than us and can remember these things because God knows we don't, uh, Alito and Cochran work together. Dirk Benedict, Starbuck and, oh, it was Dirk Benedict, Starbuck and Battlestar Galactica. He directed a film. Um, he directed a film that my uh, parents worked on, apparently. So, you know, my dad needs to be in the chat. You should be in the chat, Mr. Salter. Um, no, 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 no. Papa Dirk, Salty, you should Dirk, be in the chat, man. Dirk Benedict, who is face man from A Team. That's not who. Oh, he he's wrong. See, Star. you're wrong. You're no, no, wrong. I mean, Papa it's a Salty. great call out. It's a great call out because Dirk Benedict is. I mean, that's that's face from A Team, and I couldn't have told you his name if I had to, but. Um, uh, it's, uh, you have to look it up. All right. I do. At, why you look that up? Ray, it's Ray. God, what's his name? Look it up. We're going to watch this. Richard Hatch playing Tom Zarek. Richard that Hatch. That's who you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Originally he played, uh, Apollo or something like that. Uh, so the Baron says Norm plus Burt Reynolds is the best. And hey. that is... Yeah. That yeah. was so that was um, when uh, so a little story behind that. So when Norm Macdonald was doing the Burt Reynolds bit, he actually that was when he would got fired from um, doing the nightly news because uh, the, the president of NBC was BFS with OJ Simpson. And he's like, you can't do the nightly news anymore because you won't stop making fun of OJ because he warned him. He's like, you got to stop making fun of OJ. And then he kept doing OJ jokes. So they removed him and he had to start doing sketches again. And he was a writer. He wasn't really an actor. So he just did the Burt Reynolds thing because it was like, I don't know. It's so bad. And he never so under bad. any circumstance was he, he's like, he's like, this is going to be terrible. You know that, right? And they're like, yep. Yep. But Turd Ferguson will live in infamy. Turd so Ferguson will live in infamy. So good. It was revealed today that O.J. Simpson told police that Nicole Brown Simpson used to beat him up. He also claimed that she and Ron Goldman killed him. <laughs> oh, good Lord. That was a bit of a snoozer, but they're always still funny, man. They're always still funny. Man. O.J. Simpson's lawyers have decided to skip hearings on DNA evidence and go right to trial. Asked why they did this, the lawyers replied, we want to get O.J. acquitted as speedily as possible so he can get back to doing what he does best, killing people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> killing people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So good. <laughs> oh my god. I don't care if it's not funny to you because it makes me No, cry. it's so like he's so good. Oh like and and the fact that he was like oh no 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 this is the punchline. I'm I'm going to say oh. everything that nobody wants to say. He's like, that's my entire bit. That's my entire bit. Is saying it out loud. You know. 
killing people. Oh, so oh good. Oh my god. The guy in the audience. Let's get to OJ. Oh. OJ Simpson's lawyers say they don't want the families of Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman in the courtroom during the trial. They're afraid the presence of the family members will just remind OJ of how much more killing he still has to do. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> they aired that on NBC. Oh my god! That's incredible. Oh, oh, dude, that's amazing. That is oh, amazing. Good lord probably, in heaven. I probably need another beer for that. That's amazing. Yeah, we you should get another beer. Um, oh my gosh, that's so funny. All right, this is for the Baron. We're gonna do this for the Baron. What's happening for the Baron? What are we doing? We're gonna do this for the Baron right here. Welcome to Celebrity Jeopardy. We've got three wonderful celebrities playing for charity. Let's meet them. Burt Reynolds. So good. As you know, all so of our good. celebrities are playing for charity. For charity. Look it up. <laughs> he looks so <laughs> great. The bolo tie. Get out. Oh my god, dude. Get so out. Funny, Western cut man. shirt, bolo tie, oh, leather dude. jacket. He actually looks like Burt Reynolds. That one, the, it fit. What's funny is that the earlier versions, he actually looked like Burt Reynolds. And the later ones, they kind of just camped it up because they're like, yeah. it doesn't matter anymore. It no. doesn't matter. No. because He's like, and ah. Burt Reynolds, yours is the Palm Beach Golf and Tennis Resort. <laughs> That's his charity. And finally. It's just so funny because he's just sitting there and all he's doing is chewing the gum. And it's it's actually a hilarious bit. And Spot the, on character. This was his punishment. This was his punishment. This is how good Norm MacDonald was is that he's being punished. And he comes up with this. Back again, Burt Reynolds in a commanding lead with $14. Hey, hey uh, check out the podium. Look at this. Mr. Reynolds has apparently changed his name to Turd Ferguson. And I played as that character in World of Warcraft for 10 years. Oh, did you? Were you a World of Warcrafter? Yes, I was. And I, I had a character named Turd Ferguson. Nice. <clears throat> yep. Nice. Very nice. Um, That's right. Jared Ferguson. It's a funny name. <laughs> That's right. Great. What? Hey, it's a funny name. Pointing it out. That's so normal oh. to be like, hey, I just said something funny. You should laugh. And oh. it's, God, he's so good. God damn it. The so, Baron. The Baron so good, loves man. it. So the good. Baron loves that. Great. Great. What in the Burt Reynolds? What are you doing here? Turn Ferguson. Before he showed up. I think this is what he was hosting. It's not my name. Oh. All right, Turd Ferguson. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm late. I uh, had to pick up my podium from the from the grass. <laughs> From the what? Well, you're not the Grinch. You weren't invited. The answer is John invited. Travolta learned how to dance for this 1977. Oh man, so funny, guys. Turn Hit movie, me. Mr. Connery. That would be George. George. No. No. Oh, I'll have a Swiss cheese sandwich. Ah, uh, it's just too funny, man. It's just too funny. <clears throat> it's just too funny, dude. Um, dude. Absolutely hysterical. Uh, Miss Norm, Miss, uh, his his show, his podcast was pretty hysterical. He would have some people on and he would, he, he would talk so much shit to his sidekick, the sidekick guy, whoever he was. He would just talk so much shit to him. It was hysterical. He was the, he was the punching bag through every episode. Is your dad, is your dad getting back to you? I don't know. No, I'm trying to find uh you carry on. Talk to talk All to right. the audience. Talk to the <clears throat> audience. Talk to the audience. What up, audience? The chat's been a little quiet. I mean, we've had uh, fluctuating numbers, but I mean, I know you're not all gone. Like, let's get let's get chatty Cathy's. Let's come on, Gabigales. Let's have a little talk. Let's have a little chat. I'm just having some brewskis. I'm hanging out in here with my dogs. Isn't it like National Pet Day or something like that, you said? Yeah, I, I think got, it's it's National Pet Day. I got two dogs in here, one One's asleep over there. One's asleep down here. We got Obi and Maggie. Sweet dogs. One's uh, 
Obi is actually uh, uh, Obi is named as such because his father is named Jedi, and Obi's father is the or was the two years ago the uh, Kennel Club International Boxer Champion. So he's a handsome dog. Just to, just to let you know, he's a, he's a he's got papers. He's got the dog's he's got, got the papers. papers. He's got the papers. It's got pa- it's, dog's got papers, bro. <clears throat> he's got lineage. Like I get hits from his ancestry DNA in my email all the time. Um, hmm. has anyone? Uh, <laughs> actually, I'm not even gonna bring it up. I'm not gonna bring it up. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say to the chat. I'm gonna say to the chat. If uh, trying to chat, but my father called me. <laughs> I'm glad my father hasn't called me. I'm trying to do a live show. Don't call me, Dad. I was getting. I'm, I'm busy. Getting, I'm getting phone calls from like our realtor and all sorts of stuff. And I'm oh, that's because you're moving, right? Additional, yeah. I'm getting additional things that are like, oh, we're doing appraisal. Oh, we need to do this. Oh, we need to do that. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm in the middle of a podcast. I, I'm, I'm telling I'm sorry. you, I do one thing all week, and it's a just podcast. sell all your crap. Sell and we're then trying move. to sell. We're trying to sell as much as humanly possible, and we're then going, buy your crap back. We're going to Iowa. We're tr- we're going to be big fish, small town. I'm going to take my Emmy, and I'm just going to go put it on the balcony, just so everybody knows <laughs> he's uh, won an Emmy. I'm going to put it on the hood of my truck and drive around town. You should actually, you should do that. You should get a used like Ford uh, F-150 and a Ford Ranger. Weld that Emmy to as a hood ornament to your truck. Yeah, an old Ford Ranger for sure. With <laughs> that, that'd be fantastic. I think that should actually happen. You know what? I think um, the show's going great. Everyone's show's still going involved. Great. You guys, we got we got people watching. So you know what we're gonna do? <clears throat> we're gonna take a little bit of a break. Are we? Um, we're gonna take a little bit of a break, but we're gonna watch a trailer mm. right now. We're gonna watch a trailer, Let's and then it. we'll be back in like a minute and a half. Yeah, it's like a a. Yeah, real quick thing. Do it. Cool. Dear Lord, that was so good. So good. Oh, I put my headphones on backwards. I was waiting for you to just spin your head. right? Sorry, I didn't mean to torture you guys with my trailer, but I did have to use the restroom. I had to facilitate. And, well, you know. Facilities. I got to facilitate here. Sometimes nature calls. We are... uh... Uh, But if we're going to do shameless promotions, we should talk about your beard bomb because... Good Lord, everybody. Uh, my beard is soft and supple uh, because I use this beard balm um, from Larson Bros. And um, he Larson makes it, Bros. actually. And it I smells am. really, really nice. My wife loves the way that my beard smells. I no longer smell like um, dirty potato chips. Uh, I smell like the fresh breeze in a wood uh, in a wooded forest. Oh yes. Um, yes, I love a good forest breeze, yeah. and it's actually really, really good. I really, really do like it. I have really, really coarse hair, like really coarse hair. It's really hard to tame this. It go, it goes crazy. Um, but I use this beard balm, and it works really, really well. So if you guys need a beard balm, I highly, 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 I'm suggest it. I'm pretty sure uh, Uncapped uh, has uh, has also. Bought it. I think Uncapped is who who bought some recently. We have a uh, limited supplies of the beard balm right now because uh, I will be moving. So 
there's going to be a transitional period of a couple weeks where it probably won't even be available. I'll have to shut the shop down for a sec, but because uh, I won't be able to fulfill orders. But there are still limited quantities available. And <clears throat> I got what? I think I got woods, backwoods, and herbs. Got some delicious scents. I did. I like it. See? There's another person tes testifying to no. the magical powers. Uh, he got the backwoods, which is the newer version of what I have. Because, dude, yeah. you sent me a tin like early last year like early early last year and i'm oh, still i'm not even halfway <clears throat> through it so it honestly and i use it a lot so it lasts a long time yeah um because you only need a little bit and you just put it on your beard yeah i think i sent you a four ounce tin i'm doing mainly i think they're two ounce tins elbows. but each one i mean it's dozens and dozens of uses it's a pea size amount your, put on your elbows anyway that's 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 it's good stuff it's good stuff appreciate it uncapped really so do. what does the chat want to talk about i don't know i've run out of things to talk about chat please help me out here what are we talking about anymore i don't know have you guys um have you guys seen the document cards have you seen the document cards uh from um from uh eric july what Do document like is that like a pokemon card but so I don't, I don't I literally you remember to... when you were a kid did you ever see those Marvel cards where you get like yeah. a Spider-Man and he's yeah. got like straight like superhuman strength and it was like level five and then like Hulk it's, was like oh. level 10 and like oh, Silver there Surfer was, there, there was a game much like Magic the Gathering that was corresponding to it right yeah no, yeah no, I, well no they did that but earlier on like we're talking like early 90s they just yeah. did these cards that just let you know that like wolverine was a little bit stronger than spider-man oh, yeah but yeah, spider-man yeah. was way more intelligent than wolverine and like hulk was super strong but then silver surfer stronger than hulk and oh the thing is is weaker than so it like gave you all this information i i love those cards i actually have them in storage i keep them in my in my closet um because i'm a big giant nerd and i save everything from my childhood literally i mean guys dude check this out such a nerd Ooh, i bought that. this i bought this at a comic store in First. palmdale Ooh. on palmdale boulevard i used to ride my bike to this comic book store and i would get all these comics man and i was obsessed with spider-man and this is when i fell in love with todd mcfarlane uh, McFarlane, McFarlane, um, and this, you know, so like, oh, dude, this was his last. This was his last Such run. Good art, and then right there, you can see like a little dialogue right there, and uh, it says "By Todd" because that was his last one. So I was a giant. So I had all like giant, giant Marvel. I was, I loved Marvel, DC. I liked Batman. I never really liked um, Superman that much. Although I have this really old Superman. That's actually not a bad one. The Oh wow! The Satanic Son of Superman. So this is like super, one. super old. It's so um, old. Yeah, um, but I actually so I would I would go to this comic book store. It was on Palm Boulevard. I used my lawnmower money um, to, uh, and then also, and forgive me, Father, who's watching the show. I would sign um, baseballs and baseball cards. I would forge signatures and sell them to people. Uh, I was underage, so you cannot prosecute me. Hustle. <laughs> Got to get that hustle going. Uh, I was a big time hustler, but I was a really, really good forger. I remember when my dad, my dad found a binder and it, it was a binder. And in the binder, I had all these like notepads and I was doing like Practicing. Don Mattingly signature, Mickey Mantle. And I was just going like straight up rows of their signature. And my dad is like, what is this? That is so good. And I'm like, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. And he's like, are you? And I, I, I had a good little hustle and I was able to buy a lot of baseball cards and comic books um, based off of uh, being a little thief uh, or, you know, whatever. I was underage. You cannot prosecute me. Why do you uh, why, why are you writing these guys names so much? It's really weird. And this isn't even your handwriting. <laughs> um, uh oh. Uh, so anyway, what is so, the. Oh, so okay. wait, we got something sent. I'm going to change the subject because I, you know what? I, did, I do like talking about the Ripperverse because there's always something to do. Anyway, so the Dokimon cards, we'll, you know, <clears throat> just go look it up. Let's talk about what it, what did, what did, um, go look it up, do the work. Okay. What did Uncapped Turtle send us? He just yeah, said, he, he said, I, want he you said, to go I gave you something to review. I want yeah. you to go in blind. Oh boy. Oh boy. What, what did you do, bro? OJ in the night. Oh, OJ. Oh no. Oh no, what is this? Let's just do it. Let's do it blind. Okay, Uncap Turtle, I swear if there's anything dirty or like pornographic in this, 
I'm never going to click on a link of yours again. I will probably thank you. Um, but what are uh, we doing? Let's do it. I mean, he knows what right. he's doing. I'm sure. Yeah, I I, like, I do trust on Cap Charles because he's, he's like, actually watch, watch me tank their show. Yeah, watch watch me get you guys copyright struck. It's the Zabruder film. All right, let's do it. Grammy Street by Orange Cassidy. Okay. My dad just texted me and said, "Oh, I remember." <laughs> yeah, you do. I was a, I was a con artist. Oh, no copyright strike for this, so we can watch this straight through. Stokely Hathaway versus. Oh, okay. Ooh, that looks familiar. Hold on a second. We know this. We know this very, very well because. Uh, this is my hometown where I was born and raised in uh, Los Angeles as a fourth generation Angelino. And Eric lived for a long time and where we met, actually. And he worked at Extra. Extra. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my time to shine. Here's the thing about it. It's the fact that I should have been independent champion. As soon as I win, I'm going to go downstairs and see Mariah. I'm going to do our thing. You know what? In fact, I think seven minute video on cap. You guys need to learn how to edit down to two and a half minutes for is crying out loud. Is that Jake Paul? It's like a combination of like Billy Zabka and Jake Paul. Hootie who? Want to? I have that exact Jan Sport. I have that exact Jan Sport. We Look at those do. jeans. Those are like Z Cavalry cheek jeans. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, where's this parking lot? That's Burbank. That is Burbank. Is that Burbank? Yeah, that's Burbank. I think it's the point of just the parking lot. The point of the studio. Stop, stop. Yeah, yeah, that's the ABC parking lot. Oh, so it wasn't Burbank. I'm sorry. It was Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It looked exactly like Burbank. It looked exactly like Burbank too. Is this a hate crime? That's a hate crime. Guess where we're going? Dude, I love this jean jacket, uh, jean sweatpant combo. It's amazing. Watch Cassidy. Cassidy, where you at? I know you're here somewhere. Oh, you choose call, your weapon. Like a little <laughs> Is that guy chewing tobacco right now? Or what's Not going on under, like, he looks like he's chewing tobacco. I know that look because I used to do it. He's got that Macklemore lip. Hey man, oh. who playing music? Who playing music? Who playing music? 
Yeah, I think you forgot where I'm from. Harlem, baby. Bad boy. Wait. Look, I ain't got my shiny suit on. Whoop your ass. <laughs> so mad oh, now. That's the worst thing you could ever do to a white yeah! guy, man. Yeah! 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 It's Bad News Brown versus Macklemore. Yeah! Wrestling moves in a fight scene. Excellent. <laughs> He's got the best. Oh my god. Wow. Coming up next. Oh wait, he's wearing knee pads. That's why he's got the holes in his jeans. Does that shirt have him on it? I think so. I think he's wearing a shirt of himself. Oh my god. That guy's are these pants. guys actual wrestlers? Please tell me on Cap yeah, these guys are actual they wrestlers. They have to be. And that guy's pants, I think they'd shrimp on them. Good lord, this is awesome. Oh, is this Zuby music? Uncapped Turtle, is the black guy Zuby music? Oh my gosh, dude. That's awesome, bro. Oh, this is hilarious. I didn't And you did this. Or did you do this or did someone else do this? Oh, it's not it's not Zuby. Oh, it's not Zuby. Oh. But it is a shirt. Oh, they're wrestling. They're wrestling. Shirt of that guy wearing a shirt. Gotcha. Got you wearing a shirt. Dude, the shirt. music's good. You don't have uh, minutes of credits? Yeah, so this is a great example of don't hire people who make pornography to do your comic or, book trailer. Or, or, or the, the, th the real thing is, I think, is if you're going to make something terribly, like lean into it, like make it bad and let everyone yeah. know like, hey, look, this is a low budget thing. Don't throw a, a, a you know what you you think is a low amount of money at something when it's actually a good amount of money and you and you end up with garbage because you bring in people that 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 are only willing to do like what's what their pay scale is for instead yeah. of like this where <clears throat> clearly it was a a small number of people who were like passionate and they're like dude we can't wait to make a fucking great video instead of oh man i can't wait to get paid five hundred dollars in total five hundred dollars in total and it already was more entertaining um told more of a story uh, i knew i knew what was going yeah. on yeah i could follow it i didn't have to question i didn't have to go back and forth between like a press conference with different yeah. weird characters no that was funny dude uh yeah it's just oj in the night oh oj uh you still got that uh, saucy bourbon? I drank all my booze. All I have is beer. Weak. Pup, my pups are back here wrestling. I'm like, what the hell's going on? They're getting they're getting restless. Well, we're almost on two hours, everybody. Jeez, what you are know? people even doing what here? A two hour show. We've never <clears throat> done a two hour show before. He's, Episode he's five. Be, he's gotta be your show. friends because ain't nobody ever. I know. Been. We still got a bunch ain't of people watching here. and we really do appreciate it though. We do Yeah, seriously. We do appreciate you guys um coming and watch the show. Uh we would love it if you would share like I don't know, let your friends know. We're gonna be doing this next week, same time on Thursday at six PM. And then we are going to be moving it after next week to Wednesdays. 
um same time uh 7 p.m eastern um we're gonna yeah gonna make an adjustment for uh production's sake and for the fact that you know we don't want to necessarily uh, uh uh be a conflict with some of our uh our viewers own own uh, entertainment and what they're doing you know so we want to uh, uh spread the love around and wednesday seems like a a good day for us middle of the week little hump yeah we're gonna be like hump day with salty and savage that's what we're gonna move it. but next week we're gonna be thursday night seven uh 7 p.m on uh eastern uh eastern daylight savings eastern. time um uh, six o'clock central four, four o'clock pacific. pacific um so ain't nobody ain't nobody in mountain come on what do we got anyone in the mountain get uh uh how about how about uh, an M for mountains in the chat? If you're in the mountain time zone, I mean, come on, are you even? There's like 17 people that live in that time zone. Wait, is that EJ and the Bronco in the thumbnail? No, that is AC Cowling, man. That is actually a news the, uh, CBS news shot from 1994 or 1992. No, in 1992? the thumbnail, on the thumbnail. Our oh, thumbnail. the thumbnail. <laughs> Is that oh is that EJ? No, it's me. Uh, it's no. it's it's uh it's it's maybe it's a nondescript white guy with a beard. It looks more like yeah, it looks more like me than uh, actually it almost looks like uh to be fair, it almost looks like Walking Phoenix without makeup. It it does look like Walking Phoenix. It looks like Walking Walking Phoenix from the Cyberpunk trailer is what it's you know what? Uncap Turtle, it is Walking Phoenix. Walking Walking No, it's no, I'm sorry. It's Keanu Reeves. Yeah, same thing. It's Keanu Reeves from the Cyberpunk trailer. That's very different, but okay. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and say goodnight. Um, we thank you for coming. We hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, like and subscribe. Tell your friends, and then we're gonna close it out. Did you have anything else to say, Savage? Nah, bro. Let's uh, let's do it. I mean, I had a great time. Um, what are, we, are we gonna hit him with oj's last ride and our new outro we're gonna we close gonna it go? out with oj's last ride so enjoy it if you are okay. already sick of it i don't okay. care because i love this song unbelievably the most watched most wondered about man in america has gone missing tonight the intersection of the five and the 91 freeway one thing we have been noticing again it's a very slow pursuit travel uh, followed by numerous uh highway patrol vehicles but because of the intensity it seems like people have heard about what's going on and all the overpasses that we've seen have been lined with cars. Guilty shall lose hold tonight. Dark secrets locked away so tight. OJ on the run. Oh, what a sight. High speed chase, silence blaring in the moonlight. Fame and glory now turn to shame. Taste of freedom lost in this twisted game OJ, the man with the bloodstained face Is in the guilty Who's to blame? Running from the truth Chasing dreams in the night LA affiliates. Police believe that that OJ Simpson is in that car. Okay. Police believe he is in that vehicle. 911, what are you reporting? This is this is AC. I have OJ in the car. Fame and glory. Now turn to shame. The taste of freedom lost in this twisted game. OJ, the man with the bloodstained fame. Innocent or guilty, who's to blame? Running from the truth, chasing dreams in the night. Oh, OJ, you drive from that faithful life. Guilty shadows follow you, day and night, in the darkness, just...